of Manchester, the best of James Stanage. You're a professional, so you've got no excuse for boring the tits off us all, you know? But nobody does, Philip. The figures are going up and up and up. Philip, it's you that bores people tits off. That's oh, not him again. No, 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 Philip, the text message is coming in. Oh, not this boring twazzock again. Well, Philip, uh, Philip, you've been called the biggest chopper in yeah. Salford. How does that make you well, feel? Somebody obviously saw my dick in the shower. No, not at all. It's a euphemism, you sad little baby sperm. No, you don't. You're just... Baby, when you're called a big chopper, it has nothing to do with what's between your legs. Well, uh, James, a couple of days ago. It's a polite word for something even worse, okay? You recited But some we poetry. still love you. you no, I didn't. They did. Niven. No, so they did. Yeah, Niven. Yeah, Niven. Niven. That was and good it, stuff. It was pure doggerel. Oh, you it, better explain what doggerel means. Well, it means what? worthless prose. But it's not prose, darling, it's poetry. Worthless poetry. No, but you it just said prose. There's a great difference, darling, between prose well, and poetry. You should know because you were the English teacher. Exactly, you darling. Like Phil, I just there. think, Phil, Phil, mm. Phil, I'm sorry, but this is all just, this just all sounds like some really sad cheese head well, who's got nothing to say about anything well, other than slagging well, me well, off. Now, why would you bother? Well, Phil, I'll tell you what. Phil, why do you write to every radio station in the country, yes. right, and say, I've been listening to Stanley's for the last 15 years, right? Yes. I'm sure I could do a better job. Give me a chance. Well, I would do. Will you, well, why don't you, Phil? What's stopping you? All you can do is no, ring right. up and moan and complain. Well, look, James, when we actually ask you to do something, Phil, guess what? Yeah. The little boy can't do it because he's stuck in his cave. Look, you're a hypocrite. No, I'm not, baby. Okay. I'm an actor. The, the other night. I'm an actor, darling. I can say anything I like. It. I am on stage. It's like being at the RSC playing a part, darling. Do not take me seriously, you silly little sperm. James, you're not obsessed with money, are you? Oh, baby, I'm not obsessed with anything. Do you, do you, do you want lots of money? No. So why, when you talk about somebody as a success, if, let's say, they've got no O levels, why do you always say, I don't want to talk him at Edgy Park, and he, you know, he left with no O levels. Yeah. And, I saw and him now he's done really well. And he's, he's, he's got his own building business, and he's yeah, worth fine. several millions. Brilliant. But you, you stress the millions. No, no, I really? didn't. No, 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 I just said there is more to life than academia, Philip. You, you like John Lennon with No, I'm not like anybody. Oh, Philip. The charisma, man. Oh, baby. Who are you? I'm the... I'm the Telling me... Jesus, God, boy, I'm old enough to be your bleeding dad. You, what know. are you trying to tell? Don't you teach are, your... Baby, no, no, yeah, but don't teach an old dog new tricks, OK? Don't teach your grandmother how to suck eggs, Philip. Philip, when I was your age, I'd actually got a job. I was actually going somewhere. Well, you were 35 when you were my age. What job? Exactly, baby, and I was happy I'd got two beautiful children. What were you doing, working in a chip shop? No, that was when I was 16, you sad Filet donkey. Filet blokes on Canal Street. Of course I was, Philip. Your dad was there. Fine, actually, your mum was there as well. Yeah, she had to have the big uh, thing in front of her legs, yeah, because that was the only way she could make any money. Yeah. Philip, now we're just being completely stupid. I mean, I hope people out there are finding it funny. That's why I'm keeping you on. You're like Lennon without... No, I'm not like anybody. You're a hypocritical... No, I'm not like... A, no, baby, not at all. I'm an actor. You pretend you I am on stage four hours a night, darling. You pretend you don't want possession. I don't want anything, Philip. And yet you simply... I want nothing. So you... you... I'm very happy to hear about people's success. And if you wrote me, Philip, if you emailed me or wrote me some... Some note from Russia saying, I'm with her now. Guess what, James? I've never been happier. But I will never appear on your show again because I'm in Russia. James, Philip, I'd be happy for you. If I was in Russia, I'd phone your show once a week. If I no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't because you would. couldn't... Philip, you couldn't afford it. Look, if you're with Telco, it's only 5p a minute. So why do you get over there? I, look, I... Hitchhike, you sad donkey! Do something with your sad, bleeding, pathetic life. Hitchhike! <laughs> You can get there by hitchhiking if you wanted to enough. No, you're just wallowing in self-pity. Mr. Self-pitying, nobody, fat, bearded old tramp. You're nothing, Philip, and you never will be. Now go and hitchhike to Russia and get there. James. Right? And ring me up in six weeks. I'm saying, James, guess what? I'm in Minsk, well, where actually, she lives. Actually, Garodok. It's Novosibirsk. Garodzik. It's Siberia. Well, fine. Philip, what's stopping you hitchhiking? Well, I was Nothing. gonna go by bike. I've got a British. Uh, well, get your bike out British then. British no, get your bloody British. bike out and do something. Yeah, you know, I was gonna get on my bike, but it would have took me months to get there. And the well, money, that's fine. You no, know, costing kipping out. And well, that's fine. Food. That's brilliant. That's, no, just have a tent, you stupid boy. And what do I eat? And you're a big fat seventeen-stone slob now. Yeah. Well, what do you eat? 
You bet you... No, you say, you say, hey, could I cut your grass for, for a loaf of bread? I'd never get there then, would I? Why? Out loud. Oh, you'll never do anything, Philip, Mr. Negative Toss Bag. Mr. I can't do anything. So I'll tell you what, baby, rot away in Eccles for the rest of your life. Is that what you want to do? Buy me script and I'll go. Oh, don't tell me to do anything anywhere, baby. Right. Do it yourself. Mr. I can't do anything for myself. Philip, you are the biggest baby on the planet. James, you just wish... To... Philip, get out there, right? Set off to... What, what are you doing hanging around here? What have you got to live for in Eccles? Absolutely jack, baby. Now get on your bike tomorrow and get over to your woman. One day I will... You're too scared. Yeah, one day. What, Philip, you're 30 goddamn five. One day. Just what like, are you one, waiting for? One day. Like... What are you waiting for? Father Christmas to magic you there on his flute? One day, like this. One day, Philip. The wild bunch of Baby, life. one day, my ass, Philip, you are a sad, no-mark donkey, OK? Now, I don't ever want to hear from you again until you're in Russia, OK? Get on your bike tomorrow, baby, and do it! OK. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, you sad, pathetic waste of space. Are we on the air? James Stanage. What's going on? The Voice of Manchester, the best of James Stanage. 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 Stanage.